I'm gonna start calling myself the catfish king of the aquaquan. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making some stink bait. And I'm gonna tell you it stinks. Okay. It's made up. I'm gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna tell you also it catches some real good catfish. You can see that right there? It's that Charlie catfish bait. It comes in that tub. And what I've done is I've mixed some flour and garlic. A lot of garlic juice. If you hear something spraying in the background, that's my wife. <laughs> Mo, stop it. This is kind of a funny video to me. Uh, what I'm doing is sitting up, I'm making dough balls, little dough balls to go fishing with. This is what I catch my catfish with, right here. But the way I do it, I put it inside of a stocking. One of the kind that your wife don't need no more or you can go to the store and buy some stockings. Well, basically you put your dough ball inside the stocking, tie a simple knot, cut it, whoop, and it's over with. But I'll get to that in a moment. Now, I'm not getting paid to advertise. I'm just showing y'all the type of bait that I'm using. All right, and what you do is you just take it, add some flour, garlic, a little bit of garlic juice, mesh it all up together, and then once you finish, you should have a consistency of old like dough. Okay, once your consistency is like dough, you just take it and you roll it and you drop it. Just like that. Okay. It's best to have gloves on because it really stinks. And it is proven to me to catch some catfish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give you a tutorial on how to make catfish dough balls. Cause this is what I use when I go fishing. So now what you wanna do once you have all of your dough balls made rolled up, not gonna count them, is you just take them one at a time and you put it in the stocking like so. Turn the stocking back inside out and you tie you a closest, tightest knot as you can. No specific type knot, but you do want that knot to come down close on your bait, okay? So when you're tying that knot, you want it as close to your thing as possible here, okay? So you skeet it down as hard as you can, and you got a dough ball that's gonna stay on your hook. I guarantee it. So take a pair of scissors, Cut that knot and tie you another knot and you want to keep that as close to the bottom as you can. Like I said, you're trying to preserve your materials here. Take it once again. Because you want that knot to the inside. Put your one on the inside of there. Turn your stocking inside out. Scooch it down. Tie your knot, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a few of these for my tomorrow. Now that's part of the finished product. Uh, what I'm trying to do now is I'm going to make a few of the worms. That way I can put it on a hook and see how it works with the worm. See if it works any different or if they hit it any faster. You know, just see if there's any kind of a change in the way they hit from me making the worm 
with the leftover stocking. Okay, because as you see, it's flat up at the top and I can actually try to roll, you know, maybe I can make a video of that. I can actually try to roll that inside of there and tape it off like a sausage. So we'll see what I can do. You have your piece of stocking left over from making your dough balls, All right? So you have extra stocking left. You take that stocking and you cut it, oh, let's say about the same length of your worm that you want it to be, right? So that's, that's excellent. It's approximately three inches long, okay? And you take your worm, you lay your worm right there inside of that stocking. Well, it'll jump out on you, yeah. She'll jump right out on you, so you just have to make sure that you got the worm inside the stocking. And then you start rolling the stocking and the worm, okay? like so you just roll it so that's your stocking meat worm right there okay and that stocking gets embedded into that worm so now it's much easier for it to stay together okay so I'll show you how to tighten that up in a minute I'm gonna make a couple of more here if you roll forward or backwards as long as that stocking gets into that it's rolled in just like that. Sling this around this worm so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make a knot right there I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna tie off that open end on this stocking okay I'm gonna tie off that open end on that stock. And how I'm gonna do that is just basically take a simple knot and tie it there. Okay? Now, if a catfish hits this, hopefully, like I said, he'll try to swallow it. But the way I'm about to do this worm is I'm gonna go down and around it once or twice, just wrapping it with that thread to where it's going to the inside of that. Then I'm gonna come to the back end of it and I'm gonna trussel it down here on this end. Turn that backwards. Get that meat to go off in there. All right, make my tip here. Make me another knot. that in there and draw it tight okay now you see does that look like a worm kind of looks like a worm to me so I'm gonna do a few more of these run a little bit more thread up and down it and we're gonna see how this works tomorrow all right how y'all doing today family friends and Facebook Throwing up them deuces. You know it's that Saturday. I just had to hit the water. It was a little bit cool out there, but we did it anyway. The we I'm talking about is my partner, Mr. Fred. Call him Papa Fred. And yep, we it did it again. Day. Today, we'll say that again. Today was an excellent day. I heard that. I heard that. So anyway, we caught about 11 catfish. And we also caught a big whopper right there. So, if you tune in with me, give me time to process this film or this video, and uh, 
edit some more, then y'all really see some action today. I'll holler at you later. Peace out. It's the king catfisherman of the Occoquan. Holla!